let's try a second practice now for the comparison and contrast essay. Remember, you need to have two sides, two ideas, two topics, and you're equal. You're showing them equally, showing different parts of them equally. Where are they the same? Where are they different? Let's go ahead and look at the assignment inside your book, which is in your ebook, page 74. And this time, what we'd like to do is 250 words in the essay. And you can choose any one of these topics. But it would be nice if you could use the same topic that you used for your first practice. Because remember, you want to look at your QEC feedback, see where you did things wrong, and see where you can improve. Please pay special attention to where the QEC found errors. Sometimes you may be confused and think, why is this an error? I don't really know how to fix it. The key point is try to rewrite your sentence to be shorter, clearer. Remember, have a clear subject, have a clear verb, an object. Try to keep it simple, right? If you try to keep it simple, you have less chance of making a mistake. If your mistakes are things like commas and periods, then go back to our previous videos where we cover all of the rules for the mechanics of English writing in detail.